Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Pat, or the Dungeoneer, or whatever you know me as, my many personas over the years. Uh, thank you for coming back and watching episode 2. Hopefully that means the first episode was at least somewhat interesting. Is that a capybara? Oh no, it's a boar. <laughs> I've only seen boar and deer, I don't know why I thought there would be another animal added into the game. But welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple days since I played uh, the first episode. I kind of took a break. Um, most of my time is dedicated to animating, so I can't have too much fun. <laughs> can't have too much fun. Um, nah, I'm just kidding. But I, uh, I, I, I kind of like gathered some more stuff off screen because I know this game is basically just gathering things, picking up rocks, picking up wood, beating up boars. Uh, I'm trying to collect more leather because I, I didn't want to do just another episode where I'm running around picking up things, shopping around for resources. A uh, little, uh, a little update. Uh, the animation that I'm working on right now is Markiplier, Mar uh, Wade, and Bob as they're playing Phasophobia. Um, it's one that I wanted to do a while ago. Um, I'm still walking like a baby. I've leveled up my run quite a bit, but apparently I'm not running like a, like an adult yet. I'm getting there. I'm more like a toddler. We're getting there, baby steps. Is it just me? It just the, the run cycle just looks odd. The jump looks a little exaggerated too. I mean, usually I throw my hand up in the air behind my back like that. I also have a club when I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, but the next animation that I'm doing is uh, Phasophobia, which is one that I've really wanted to do for a while. Uh, let's see if I actually have anything to... I still have that head! Oh, I gotta build a chest. Uh... Oh, I can build the spear, the broken, broken spear. Uh, make a hoe. <laughs> no jokes, guys. We're not making jokes about the hoe. We are adults. It is a farming equipment. Anyone who's in the comments right now and you guys are trying to make jokes about the hoe, just say, oh, I already made a hoe. I already had a hoe. Damn it. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? I haven't played this in a while. Uh, if you haven't <laughs> been able to tell. Um, hose everywhere. I, I look to my left, there's hose. I look to my right, there's hose. Hose up in the house. Alright, let's cook some meat. What was I saying? There's no room. Oh, I already put it down. I am on fire. Okay. Um, okay, I need to build a storage box before we go any further. What is this? Welcome to Earth. I forgot that's what I named this. Um... How do you... It's been, it's been a while since I've been on here. Okay, I'm gonna build a... I think the, the number one thing to do is definitely... Well, actually, I should probably... Speaking of hoes, let's level the ground first. Because the, the building in this game is really finicky, I remember. And I think... Uh, wow, they use a lot of stamina. Hoeing takes up more stamina than fighting. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Hoeing takes way more stamina. It takes so much power and concentration to hoe. You guys don't even know how much power you need to hoe. Anyway, uh, I think I hoed enough, right? That's that's some good hoeing right there. I know I told everyone not to make jokes, but I'm the let's player here. Anyway, let's build a little floor here. So I I wanted to make a, a Fansophobia animation of Mark's stuff for a while because I love that game. I haven't played it in quite a while. I know they've updated it a little bit since I've played it, but I played quite a bit of it when it first came out, and I absolutely loved it. That game is phenomenal. Um, but no! No! I know there's one person with OCD right now looking at that like, Put it back. Put it back. Um... I love Phasophobia. I, it's got a lot of bugs, like the but the bugs make it so much more funny, I think. Um, very scary game. I played it by myself a few times, and I played it once in VR, and nope, not for me. But I, uh, I, I thought that the videos were like super, super funny when he played with uh, Bob and Wade. So, and, and I, I, I wanted to do the, uh, the ones with Jack, but I don't quite know what I want to 
like anyone who knows me knows that like I've animated Jacksepticeye probably the most. Like I used to make animations back in the day. A lot of people don't know that because there's a lot of new people coming to my Dungeoneer cartoons channel. I don't have enough wood. Probably because I built this stupid breakdance area. Why is the, the the mud above the floorboards? Oh, you son of a gun. Well, I guess I'll destroy it. this. Oh, the game froze. Okay. Oh, the world saved. Okay. Whenever the world saves, the whole world freezes for a second. That's kind of scary. I've animated Jacksepticeye a lot. Uh, but obviously, I did it in like the weird, terrible style that I used to do that I hate. And I'm kind of glad a lot of these new people don't know about those old cartoons that I made. Because uh, they, I'm not really proud of those ones. I'm very proud of the new ones that I've made. I think that they look really good. And the way that I see it in my head is the way that I was able to get it out onto the, onto the animation. So that was really nice. Because back in the day, I didn't really have as much skill as I have now. So a lot of times when I made something, I it just wasn't... I didn't have the skill to pull off what I wanted to do. But now I feel like the skill and the idea of what I have are much closer together. And I'm able to... Uh, to do things a lot more interesting. I think I burned my my Whopper Jr. over here. Oh! I got coal. It cooks so fast. You had to literally just stand here and wait. That's not that's not exciting. Unless I squat really interestingly. Is this is this good content, guys? <laughs> uh, but I, I don't know how to animate Jacksepticeye in my in my new style that I'm doing. I, I don't know. Because I try to keep the characters very simple looking. I try to make them... Um, I try to make them have like one defining feature that kind of like makes that character that character. Like identifies them as that character. Um, and with Jack, like I don't I don't know. Like I, I've thought about maybe doing his hat. Um, his, his like Irish hat that he used to wear. But I don't think he really associates with that as much anymore. So if I draw him... Like obviously I'll make him green. But I feel like that's not enough. I, I have to like do something. I kind of gave Wade the beard. Um, I don't think Jack really wears glasses. Uh, so it's I, I don't know. Like I thought maybe like making him have just like one giant septic eye. Like instead of having two eyes, just have like one giant eye. But then I think since he's green, he has one eye. He'll just look too much like Mike from Monsters Inc. So I don't know. Hey, if you guys have any suggestions. On how to how to animate Jack Septicai. Like what what should I what's a good defining feature that I can draw onto his character? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, here's the image of all my characters that I've made so far. Because uh, I'm trying to make it consistent. I have no more cookable items. Nonsense! You can cook anything if you try hard enough. You can cook a raspberry, right? Raspberry pie. God, this game sucks. All right, I'm gonna put my deer head away because I don't think I, need, I don't think I need to be carrying around a deer head. They're gonna think I'm a serial killer or something. Um, so I really wanted to do the the phasmophobia thing for a while, but I figured Valheim was a little bit newer, and the forest seems to be super popular. So that, that's kind of why I chose those ones first. But when I did come back to animating, um, I saw the phasmophobia stuff, and I I I've played phasmophobia quite a bit with my friends. And it is hysterical. Like it's t it's it's such a crazy game because it's it's so equally terrifying to hilarious. Like the game can go from super ridiculously scary to super ridiculously funny at the drop of a hat. Like it's so it's so terrifying but so buggy. And the bugs usually aren't like game breaking, but they're more like goofy, you know? And it creates these really funny moments that are like perfect for animating. Uh, so yeah, long story short, that's the next animation I'm working on is one of the second last episodes that they did. Because um, I, I wanted to do ones where, they, where it was just Mark, Bob, and Wade because it's a little bit easier to I think four characters might be a little too much to animate. Um, but I think three is like the perfect number that I can kind of handle on my own. So yeah, here's a, here's a little preview. Here's a little sketch. I'm not going to give you any context. But yeah, that's that's a little a little hint at uh, what's gonna be happening. I I think this is gonna be the funniest one I've, I've made yet. I think this one's gonna be really good. So like I said in previous videos, um, animation is kind of tough to do, uh, to do it frequently and to keep up with the 
the YouTube upload schedule. I'm also really sorry if you guys can hear my clicking. I have a really bad microphone. I have a really bad setup in general. Um, I really need to buy some new things. This mouse is terrible. This microphone sucks. I I've had the Blue Yeti for like ever. And I think I'm finally realizing that I don't like it. <laughs> so, uh, watching these videos and, you know, liking it and commenting it, uh, it really supports my animations. Because, um, like, it helps bring in some ad revenue, it helps bring in some watch time and stuff, and it helps me make more of a consistent uploading schedule. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to support my cartoons, Dungeoneer Cartoons, my other channel, uh, watching my gameplay and stuff is fantastic. It, it's it's a really huge help. I can't I can't ex uh, express how much I appreciate you guys watching me pick raspberries for 40 minutes. That's what this episode's gonna be. Picking raspberries and eating raspberries. But yeah. Oh, okay. Now that I have the spear, I can show you. Guys. This is about where I was when I played it by myself. Cause I only played it for like an hour or so. Um, I can finally show you guys how broken sneaking and the spear is. Because before, I didn't have the spear. The spear is what one-shots them. Ah, the necks are very active today. Let's see if I can kill Pepe. How do you throw? Oh, there we go. Oh, good job. I can't. I walk like a baby and I throw like a baby. Eat it! Yeah! Wow, that is satisfying. <laughs> no, Kermit! He's like, don't, don't do it. You killed my brother, you bastard. Oh, he's dead. Does Kermit have a brother? Kermit the Frog. Ah, Kermit the Frog here. And then, like, he's got his brother. Kermit the Toad here. It's like a, <laughs> a dumb version of him. Okay, anyway, what, what the hell was I doing? I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah, thank you guys for watching my, my garbage. <laughs> I'm really not selling myself too high, am I? Hello, Mr. Bo. Um, okay. As you as you level up your sneak, I think your sneak just takes less stamina. I think that's really the only... Man, I got like a serious hunch. I got that millennial hunch going on. This is what I look like in real life. Always looking down at our computers and our phones. Okay, boar. Whoa! I don't know where the bird... Buzza! Buzza! Okay, that okay. Sneak attack damage just doesn't work if they clearly see you. Uh, let's let's pretend that one didn't happen. <laughs> that one didn't happen. Okay, here's deers. No. Okay, that one was smart. This one, I don't know if this one just didn't hear me, or if this one's really stupid, or if this deer's like standing his ground and he's gonna kick the shit out of me. Come on, deer. You think you can beat me? I'm crouched. I got my spear. You ain't gonna beat me. I'm gonna get you. Oh yeah, look at all this knowledge. I wish I could just crouch around the woods and learn things. Get smarter. Here we go. Babu! Yeah, see? One shot. And now you get leather. So anyone who is uh, <laughs> having a hard time... I, I feel like everyone already knows how to do all this stuff. I don't know why I'm acting like... Hey guys, I'm here to give you some tips. T 10 tips and tricks for Valheim. Uh, tip number one, don't be stupid. Crouch. Hold the spear. Here we go. I'm just excited because I figured this out on my own. And that makes me super smart. So, whatever. I don't care. I don't care what you think. Because um, getting leather is like really hard. It's, if only we could sneak up on rocks and do that. Because getting rocks is kind of a pain in the ass before you get the pickaxe. Um, this is also me, like, one hour into the game. And I'm just like... So everything that I learn seems like a big deal. I'm just like, dude, guy, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can walk forward <laughs> and backward. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now I'm just going to try to gather some leather. And... I don't know. Like, when I was watching Markup... I, I, I think I already mentioned this in the last episode, but when I... Oh, you sneaky, slippery bastard. Um, when I was watching Markiplier, he seemed to be having a really hard time killing the deer. I mean, I made a whole animation surrounding it. How they're having a hard time catching the deer. DEER! Get back Where's here. That? And when I, when I started playing this, I'm like, Sneak? What the hell would Sneak be for? Because usually, like, big open world uh, crafting survival games like this, they don't have, like, a sneaking mechanic. 
At least I don't think so. I think Ark Survival Evolved, like, has, quote-unquote, has a sneaking thing, but you can't hide from the dinosaurs. Like, in, in this, I'm surprised they have a... I was just surprised they had a sneaking mechanic. It's really cool. I, I love it. But, uh, when I did that and I one-shotted a deer, I was, like, so excited. Let's see if I can one-shot this Grayling. Oh! He must have seen me. That's why you don't cross me, little wobbly arm man. Alright, I need to build a bed because I am going to lose my house. And I worked really hard in this house. If you watched episode one, you'll know. I put a lot of, ooh, nighttime spawns the spooky music. I'm glad that the, uh, I'm glad the shadow, I hope everyone sees what I'm seeing. It looks like a deer, doesn't it? Kinda. I was probably watching this like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? I need to make myself a bed so I can rest my weary head. I'll put that right now. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, the bed's not for you. But sure, I can build a second one. Stupid bird. Sleep the night away in your bed and awake full of refreshed, full of energy. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment. Thank you. Even you don't have faith in me, you stupid bird. You know I'm going to die. Well, I got the bed. I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't... Oh, man. I don't like that the dirt is coming through. Can I hoe the dirt through the... Oh, I can! I don't... Oh, wait, did I? Oh, there's still two splotchy... Splotchy splotches. Well, I made the dirt a little less dirt, I guess. I'm also really sorry because I, I didn't realize how dark this game is. I thought maybe it was just my monitor because my monitor is kind of dark. Um, so at nighttime, I'll try to have like more torches and things because I was editing the last video and I'm like, oh my god, you can't see anything. <laughs> uh, but I think that's just the game. I think the game is just really dark. I'm out of wood already? Man! How am I out of wood? On my YouTube community tab, uh, on Dungeon Your Cartoons, I asked people uh, what they wanted to see me play, because I, I really have no idea. I've, I've been really out of the loop with games for a while. Like, I'm usually... I'm not usually someone who, like, plays a lot of games. I, I usually kind of stick to, like, one or two games. Like, for the, for the longest time, I mainly just played Overwatch. Um, and I'm talking about in my own spare time. Like, I mainly just played Overwatch, mainly just played Arc Survival Evolved. Um, if there was anything, like, brand new... It had to be something that I was, like, really excited for, like, um, if a new Resident Evil game comes out or something like that, like, that kind of stuff I love. Um, but I, I don't really check out a lot of new games. I'm not really a big, like, PvP person. Not really a big multiplayer person. So, I have no idea what you guys want to see me play. Um, I'm, I, I asked people on my community tab what you guys want to see me play, and oh my god, you guys gave me, like, a million suggestions. Some of the stuff I don't even know what it is. Uh, so, I, but here's the thing, though, a lot of people ask me to play some stuff that's, like, relatively old, and I, I don't know if that's, I guess that's good, I, I, because I'm, I'm always afraid that people have already played those games to death, Every, everyone's already seen, like, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and all these people play those games, um, do you guys like seeing people play game like, L Little Nightmares, that, that was one that, uh, people like consistently asked me to play was little nightmares but like i've only gotten up to i think i beat the first boss i, got, I beat the guy with like the stretchy arms um but that's as far as i got because usually i i don't beat games i usually play them for like a little bit and i get bored and i just start playing something different um it has to be like a very specific game that like really draws me in uh to like actually finish it which is why i want to do a let's play thing because i i have like tons and tons of games that I really need to beat and I figured this would give me the incentive to finally play through them but um, do you guys like watching people play stuff that you've already seen because I feel like a lot of people have already seen Little Nightmares a lot of people have already seen Undertale especially Five Nights at Freddy's um, people have already played those so much um, and yeah you know, I haven't I, I've only played Undertale for like an hour or two I think I got stuck on 
something. I, I, I remember that game being actually really hard, or maybe I'm just really bad. <laughs> but I remember I was, uh, I streamed it a long time ago, and I was stuck on the, the ghost. The ghost that's, like, laying on the floor, and then the ghost, like, pops up, and you have to fight it, like, blocks your path. I, I remember I couldn't beat that the first time. And I felt like such an idiot because I was streaming it and everyone's like really excited because Undertale was this new thing and I'm just like, I I can't beat the ghost. <laughs> I I'm stuck on this. I'm like, I'm actually stuck on this character. I feel like such an idiot. And you're doing it. I'm doing it live too. So it was like kind of embarrassing. But, um, oh, I lost my torch. Can I make another torch? So my question to you guys is, do you mind seeing people play things that you've already watched previously? Because uh, I feel like most people have probably already seen Little Nightmares. Um, I saw a lot of people ask me to play the Yakuza series, which I've actually always been interested in Yakuza. It always looked really interesting. It was always one of those games that I couldn't quite tell what it was. Because like, it always seemed like something different. So I've always been kind of interested to try those. And I, I think I have most of them. Because I, I have the Humble Bundle, which gives you like a bunch of games every month. And unfortunately, I haven't played any of them. So uh, I'd like to get through that backlog too that I have and uh, yeah I'm just curious if you know because uh, a lot of the games that you guys suggested were were much older games that I feel people have already played and already seen um, there's some that are more of like an experience like you can only really experience them once I know some people asked me to play Doki Doki Literature Club but that I did see the Game Grumps play and I feel like I feel like that's one of those things where if you already know the twist to it, it's not. I don't. I don't think it'd be that fun to play that again. Plus, I'm not really that into like the dating simulators or like story, like story decision based games. Uh, th those I'm not really super into. But then again, maybe you know, maybe there might be one out there that's super good. Um, Detroit Become Human looked really cool. Uh, it's also, you know, a, a decision of, like, do I own the game already? Because I own a lot of games that I've never played, and uh, I don't I don't want to invest too much into this gaming thing right off the bat, because I don't want to buy, like, all these brand new games, and then, you know, everyone's like, man, you suck. <laughs> this is a bad Let's Play channel. Anyway, this is my long-winded way of asking everybody, uh... Yeah, you know, like, uh, most of the games that everyone asked me to play were pretty old. Uh, so I, I just didn't know if you guys, cause I'm sure most of you guys have already seen those games. A roof? What? How does the bed know? How does the bed know? Did the pillow just go, I need a roof? I can't be a bed until I get a roof. You can't sleep on me. Like, as soon as I try to, like, lay on it, it, like, puts a hand up. Nope. You see a roof above you, buddy? No. But I can't sleep about the stars. I can't sleep with that strange mutated nuclear tree branch above my above my base. I can't sleep in the the open air. Fine. That's fine. So let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see the Dungeoneer play something that you've probably seen six times? Because uh, I don't mind playing them because I, I actually don't really... Uh, I don't really play a lot of games. I usually stick to something and play it to death, and then I move on to something else. Um, so a lot of these games I would really be playing for the first time, or at least I've only been I've only tried them like a little tiny bit. Um, so you would get you would get my gen my genuine reaction on these things. I remember I streamed uh, Five Nights at Freddy's not that long ago. Um, I was on Twitch, and I streamed Help Wanted, the VR version, and man, that game was pretty scary. I, I never understood Finance of Freddy's, like, I never really got that into it, and I never understood the hype around it, but when I played the games for the first time, I, I played the games for the first time, um, at the time of recording this, I think it was at the end of 2020. Uh, that was like the first time I actually played the Finest of Freddy's games myself. Like I've seen them obviously as Mark played them and as like everyone and their mother played them. Oh, hello. He's like, I see that spear you have there. I also have several spears coming out of my head. And if you try to attack me, 
I will gore you. All right. Well, can I one-shot you? <gasps> oh my god, I can one-shot a one-star general deer. Run, little deer, but you will never escape the justice of my spear. Yeah, so when I was playing Finance of Freddy's, that was like my first time actually playing the games myself. And I get it. I get it now. <laughs> I get why people like them so much. Um, they're super fun. And, and just the way they're made is uh, pretty amazing, too. Because uh, obviously it's made by just one dude. And uh, it's cool. I like it. I, I like the whole Finance of Freddy's thing. I'm, fi I'm finally on board. Man, that deer is really sweating. <laughs> He knows I'm coming for him. He's like, I I know I'm gonna get killed, but this grass is delicious. I don't want to move. This is the best grass spot in all the forest. Look at him look around. <laughs> He's sweating profusely. And your skin is mine. <laughs> Run as much as you want. Spear boy is gonna get you. That's my spear dance. Also, I'm sorry if I'm just sort of rambling. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be saying. This is not a very narrative game. I'm, I'm assuming it's just because this game is not very um, story-driven. So there's not really much to speak of game-wise. So I'm kind of just rambling and treating this more like a podcast, I guess. If there's anything you guys want to see me talk about or hear me talk about... Uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I read all the comments. I try to respond to all the comments. Um, even on Dungeoneer Cartoons, my animation channel, I try to talk to everybody. Because um, I really appreciate it. Like, I put a lot of work into the animations. And to have you guys, you know, say your super nice things. It warms my heart. It makes me feel like all the goofy things I do are worth it. Just like this... Just like this deer that I'm about to stab in the head. And turn him into a beautiful couch! No! I'm out of stamina. I like how he stood there for a second. <laughs> Just tried to process what was going on. Oh, he's a two-star. I don't even know what that means. Let's all crouch through the woods. It will be a super fun time. Let's all crouch... Why am I getting leather? I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to build a house. I believe Little Nightmares is actually like a really short game, so that might be the next thing I record, uh, just because I can get it out of the, I can get it done pretty quickly. Cause I, I mean, something like Valheim, I could, I could probably make like a million episodes out of this, cause it's just such a massive open game. I don't even, I don't think this game is even finished yet, but I know there's like six bosses, and judging by how hard the first boss was, I can assume it's probably gonna take me a while. Uh, but I want to do two games that are... I, I kind of want to rotate between two games that are two very different games. Uh, I feel like Little Nightmares and this are are probably pretty different. I think I can assume... I can't build another door on top? Why is the door so small? The, that door looks like it's for Oompa Loompas or something. Oh, here we go. What is this? That doesn't line up, though. Oh, is this what this is for? Hello? Maybe? Oh, wow! These, like, go together so well. It's almost like... It's designed... Yeah, that, that's a big boy door. There we go. I don't want that little Oompa Loompa door. This is a big boy door. Big boy door! I want big, I want big boy door. This house looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Just a big-ass brown rectangle <laughs> in the middle of the woods next to this. Oh, this is my Notre Dame, though. This is beautiful. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, I'm probably going to gather some resources and try to finish the house and stuff off off of the recording. And next time, I next episode, I should try to fight Ichthyr. Um, I think we should be at that point because I, I don't want to I don't want to make like nine episodes where I'm just chopping down trees and things. Unless you guys like that. Let me know. I don't know. I don't like that. But uh yeah, uh, I'm hopefully going to do a Little Nightmares next. If I haven't already uploaded it, I have no idea. Uh, if I did, well, there you go. I did it next. Um, and, yeah, hope you guys had a good time. Remember, watching this stuff, 
greatly supports my animations. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I also have another cartoon channel called Dungeoneer Cartoons. Um, link to that is in the description. You probably already know about it because this is my side channel. Um, but it, anything that you guys do on this channel really helps support getting out more animations. So I really appreciate the support. Um, I really appreciate the likes and the comments and all the suggestions and things. It is really nice. I try to read all the comments and everything. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. I don't have a good outro, so I'm just going to have you guys watch this guy squat for a little bit until it becomes really, really uncomfortable. <laughs>